How's everybody doing today? Good. So today we're going to talk about making choices. All right. So I have a question for you. How many of you have had to make choices in your life? All of you? All right. That's good. All right. So when we make choices, one of the more difficult ones we have to make, I think, is whether we're going to benefit ourselves or we're going to benefit somebody else. All right. So today, Kelly, if we went to your favorite <coughs> restaurant, whatever that is, your favorite store, all right, and you had to choose whether or not you got what you wanted to get or you let Jimbo get what he wants, how would you choose? Um, um, probably rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> And whatever you get always wins, right? And then, no, and then Jimmy always gets mad and he loses. No, okay, right? So, <laughs> so that happens, right? I could ask the same thing, I think, of Olivia with her sisters. I could ask the same thing of Mallory and Noah. I could ask the same thing of any of us, right? We, we have choices to make if we want to do something that's fun for us or fun for somebody else. How do we usually choose? <laughs> fun for somebody else. You do? Well, that's awesome if you do. If you're kind of going against everything. <laughs> So we normally choose fun for, for ourselves, right, right? But that's good when you do. See, we're going to look at scripture today with two guys. One named Abram and one named Lot, all right? Abram is Lot's uncle, and we're going to read about them today in scripture. And it came a point in time on the journey that God sent Abram on that Lot and Abram had to make a decision. You see, they got to a point in their journey that they couldn't journey together anymore. We're going to talk a little bit about that with these all. But in the journey, there was a question raised. Do we take the land that has all the good stuff for cows, water, fields, all the stuff, or do you take the land that's mountains that's hard to get into? Well, Lot chose the good land, right? He chose for himself what he thought was going to be the best for himself. Abram got what he left. Well, as the story ends, this is where we see Abram become the father of all nations. Because God takes him aside. Does Abram, because you let Lot choose, I'm going to bless you with everything you can see. He walked to the top of the mountain. He said, if you look east and west, north and south, everything that you can see is yours. All right? So Lot got, or Abram got everything. But he got everything because he allowed someone else to make a choice. And he relied on God that he would provide what he needed. Okay? So I want to encourage you, and the story I asked Kelly about, in God's plan, what happened would be if you let Jimbo get whatever he wanted, God would provide for you. Now, that doesn't mean it's going to be easy or it's going to be fun, but God will take care of all of your needs. The same with all the things that we talk about, right? So I want you guys to think about this. It's a hard, it's a hard lesson to learn. And we as adults have the same challenges. We're going to talk about this again in a little bit in the message. You can listen along to some of what we talk about there. But we are called to do what's best for others. God wants us to give freely to those around us, right? And then God says he'll take care of us with everything that we need, right? So I want to challenge you guys today to look at others more importantly than you look at yourself and see how it works, okay? And sometimes it's hard. It's especially hard when it comes to brothers and sisters, all right? But I want you guys to think about that, all right? Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Father, I pray today that you do these young men and women as they grow up. Father, these are hard lessons to learn. <clears throat> it's much easier to just do what we want and have fun. But Father, we're come to learn that in the spirit of grace, when we do what you want, we have eternal fun and the joy that comes with the grace of Savior. Father, this morning, pray to be we of these young men and women in our church, help them to grow up strong in faith, in your wisdom and in your grace. We pray these things today in your name, Lord. Amen. All right, you guys can head back to the